Hi everyone, and welcome back to your daily dose of mass pina math dealing video contents together with your mathematics teacher, Sir Vince. And for today, I will be teaching you quadratic equations, especially using completing the square. Now, kung umpisahan mo na si quadratic equations, alam mo na madaming paraan paano siya isolve. You can use extracting square roots, completing the square, quadratic formula by factoring. So there are many ways. But for this video, ituro ko muna sa inyo paano siya isolve using completing the square. And to watch the other videos, make sure to like and to subscribe para updated ka sa lahat ng aking pinapost na videos. Okay? So without further ado, let's start solving quadratic equation by means of completing the square. Ngayon, ano ba kapag sinabing completing the square? Ang ibig sabihin ba nun? Yung square ay kulang, kaya kailangan mong kompletuhin? Kulang ba ng isang side yung square? Hindi po. Pag sinabing completing the square, it is one of the process in solving quadratic equations or methods in solving quadratic equations. Now, ano ba yung method na yun? When we complete a square of a given expression, tandaan, take note of the word expression. Ano ba ang pinagkaiba ng expression saka ng equation? Tanda ba? Okay. Halimbawa, 2x plus 3. Is that expression or equation? Ano? Very good. That's expression. Bakit? Kasi siya ay natatanging expression pero anong nawawala? Walang equal sign. Para ang isang expression ay maging equation, dapat mayroon siyang equal sign. From the word itself, equa. Equal. Equation. So kapag naging 2x plus 3 equals 1, magiging equation na siya. So, tandaan, kapag may equal sign, tapos may dalawang expression sa magkabilang gilid, that's equation. Pero, if it stands alone, tapos walang equal sign, halimbawa, 5x plus 1, so that is considered as expression. Now, ang sabi, when we complete the square of a expression, we are not solving it. But rather, we are just adding number to it. Tandaan, hindi pa tayo ganun nag-solve. Tayo ay nag a lang ng number para makumpleto yung square. To complete the square. And ano bang nangyayari kapag na-complete yung square? The equation or the expression will become a perfect square. Ngayon, Sir Vince, paano namin kukumpletuhin yung square? So we will use this formula b over 2a squared. So, yan yung gagamitin natin to complete the square. Tandaan, di lang di yan mahirap. Maya-maya, we will have an example para mas magets mo kung paano ba ginagamit ang formula na yan. So, let's have an example para mas magets mo. So, for our example number 1, let us complete the square for the expression x squared plus 14x. Now, ang sabi, complete, meaning may nawawala. Ngayon, ano yung nawawala? If you are uh, informed of what is quadratic equation, so diba, it is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Diba yun yung kanyang form? Ngayon, may nawawala. Meron lang dyang x squared plus 14x. May nawawalang katabi ni 14x. Nawawala si c. So, ganito yung tsura niya. So, may missing term, yung constant na c. Ngayon, how do we find that constant term C? So, we will use the formula of B over 2A squared. So, last time, so, uh, you had already know kung paano ba kumuha ng A, B, C, the value of A, B, or C. Now, kung di mo po siya magets, make sure to subscribe here dahil I will be uploading a separate video for that kung paano makuha yung value of A the value of B, and the value of C. Now, simple lang naman siya. Yung mga letters na yon, 
siya yung numerical coefficient ng mga x o yung katabing number ng mga x. Example is this one. Yung mga naka-underline na yan, that is the value of a and b. Now, sir, wala naman naka-underline sa a eh. Di ba? Pero, if we can remember, if the value of a numerical coefficient is 1, di ba, hindi na siya kailangan pang ilagay. So, meron dyang imaginary 1 sa tabi na x squared. So, therefore, we have two values. Meron kang value of a and value of b. Now, what is a? Very good, that's equal to 1. And the value of b is equal to 14. Ngayong meron ka ng a and b, kaya mo nang hanapin si c. And to find the value of c, we will use this formula. Yung b over 2a squared. So how do we get the value of c? Simple lang. Just substitute the value of a and the value of b inside the formula. So yung a, dalagay mo lang sa ilalim. And yung b, sa numerator or sa taas. So, ganito siya mangyayari. Magiging C equals 14 na value of B over 2 times 1, which is the value of A, tapos squared. Ganun lang. Papalitan mo muna. And then afterwards, solve it individually. Unahin mo yung denominator. So, multiply mo muna yung nasa baba. So, 2 times 1 is what number? Very good. That's 2. So, ang may E1 is 14 over 2 squared. Now, simplify. We can divide it. What is 14 divided by 2? That is 7 squared. And again, just simplify. Paano mag-squared? Just multiply it by itself. So, 7. O, tanda na, baka misconceptions. Hindi yan 7 times 2. That's 7 squared. That's 7 times 7. Okay? So, ano ba ang 7 times 7? That's 49. So, ibig sabihin, meron ka ng value of C na equal to 49. So, ganun lang siya hinahanap. Ngayon, gusto ba ng shortcut? Alam ko gusto mo ng shortcut. Uh, turo ko yung paano mas mabilis na paraan, pa paano makuha si 49. Simple lang. Tingin ka sa gitnang number. Doon sa given. Yung gitnang number. Ano yung gitnang number? 14. Tama? Ito mas basic. Yung gitnang number, hatiin mo daw sa dalawa. Or divided by 2. Ilan? 14 divided by 2. That's 7. Tapos, times by itself. So, ano una gagawin? Divided by 2. Tapos, times by itself. Tandaan na, ginagawa to kapag yung value of A is 1. Again, ginagawa lang itong shortcut na to if the value of A is 1. Diba? Kung makikita mo, the value of A is 1. So, you can use the shortcut. So, yung B, hatiin, 7, tapos 7 times 7, that's 49. Mas basic, kaya mo siyang matamatahin or i-mental mat lang. So, we have now this expression, x squared plus 14x plus 49. Now, if we can observe, hindi pa tayo tapos. Kasi ang gagawin pa natin, ang final na gagawin is to uh, factor out this expression. Ngayon, hmm, nakalimutan ko na mag-factor out ng ganyan. If we can observe, this is a perfect square. Right? Ito ay perfect square. Ngayon, ano ba ang gagawin kapag perfect square siya? Meron tayong shortcut. Ito yon. Una, copy the x. I bring down the x. Next, copy the middle sign. Okay? And then, next step, kuha ah, una, copy x, copy the middle sign, and then, divide mo raw sa 2, yung middle term. So, 14 divided by 2, ilan? That's 7. And then, for last step, ikulong mo lang sila, parenthesis squared. At meron ka ng factor form. Tandaan, ginagamit lang itong shortcut na to kapag perfect square yung meron tayo. 
to check if it is a perfect square, I square mo lang yung dulo. 7 times 7, that's 49. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung ating factored form. Mas madali, mas basic, nakuha. Sana nakuha, sana nagets. So, we can proceed with our next example. Ready na? Example number 2. Complete the square for the expression x squared minus 18x. Basic, sir. Kayang-kaya ko na yan. So, x squared minus 18x. Let's find the value of c. So, unahin, find a and find b. Sige nga, ano ang a? What is the value of a? Very good. a is 1 and b is negative 18. Kung napapansin mo, kasama na si negative sign. Kanina, kaya 14 yon kasi that's positive 14. Ngayon, since meron na siyang negative sign, so isama natin siya sa value for b. So therefore, our b is negative 18. Now, solve for the value of c. Sige, let's do the mental math muna. Tapos check natin mamaya kung tama ba. Okay, now, o 18. O, kapag na ganito, just take the number. Forget the sign muna, just take the number. Okay? So, 18 divided by 2, ilan? That's 9. 9 times 9, that's 81. Tandaan na dapat mamaya 81 yung lalabas sa ating sagot. So, 81 dapat. So, now, let's try to use yung C. C equals B over 2A squared. Let's substitute. That's negative 18 over 2 times 1 squared. Tapos, si ilalim, 2 times 1. That's negative 18 over 2. Tapos, simplify natin. This will be negative 9 squared. Now, kapag ganyan, magiging ano yan? Negative 9 times negative 9. That's why parenthesis is important. Kasi, kapag nawala yung parenthesis, mag-iiba yung value. So, we will have a separate video for that para mas magets mo. Ano bang pinagkaiba kapag mayroong parenthesis tsaka walang parenthesis? Okay? Now, o negative 9 times negative 9, that's 81. Wow! Yung kanina tama! So, ibig sabihin, the value of C is 81. Now, let's get its factored form. Gaya na siya. Rate lang natin, rewrite. Tapos, ang gagawin? Copy the X. And then, divided by 2 yung gitnang term. Tapos, bring down the sign. So, anong may iwan? That will be x minus 9 squared. And this will be our factored form. Gets? Kayang-kaya na? Basic? That's basic. Let's have another example. Our last example, example number 3. Complete the square for expression x squared plus 13x. Basic, kayang-kaya mo na to. So, unang step, that's, okay, hanapin natin yung C. So, what's the value of A? 1. What's the value of B? 13. Now, kaya mo itong matamatahin. Now, what is 13 divided by 2? It's 13 over 2. Hindi mo na siya kaya pang gawin whole number. So, mamaya, may kita natin paano ba mag-squared ng fraction. Ngayon, papakita ko mamaya sa ating proseso paano mag-squared ng fraction. So, let's use the formula of C equals B over 2A squared. Ayan siya. And then, substitute. Magiging C equals 13, yun yung value ng B, over 2 times 1 squared. And then, multiply yung denominator. 2 times 1 is 2. Tapos observe that, hindi mo na siya pwedeng ma-divide ng whole number. Kasi this will be a decimal. May decimal na siya. So, 13 over 2, meron na siyang, kumbaga, decimal. Or this will be not, not whole number. So, ang gagawin kapag ganyan, huwag nang gawing, or huwag nang uh, i-divide. Just simply get its squared. Now, paano ba kapag ganyan? So, back to your grade 8, Law of Exponents, tanda ba? So, kung hindi natanda, I will be uploading a separate video for that Law of Exponents. So, make sure to subscribe 
and like this video para updated ka sa aking mga uploads. Now, kapag ganyan, simple lang, dalhin mo lang si squared, papasok sa numerator, tsaka sa denominator. Dadalhin mo lang siya doon. So, ano mangyayari? Magiging 13 squared over 2 squared. Now, what is 13 times 13? That's 169. And what is 2 times 2? That is 4. Therefore, our C is 169 over 4. Okay? And then, for our last step, get its factored form. Ito, mas madali lang to. Again, copy the X, copy the middle sign, tapos divide mo lang sa 2 yung middle term. Tapos ikulong mo lang sa squared. And this will become X plus 13 over 2 squared. And this will be our factor form for our final answer. Okay? Nagets ba? I hope nakuha at nagets ang pagkuha ng completing the square method. Now, you try for yourself. Complete the square for the expression x squared minus 22x. Try mo, ang sarili mo, kung SS mo, kung nag ba yung lesson ngayong araw. And just comment down below your answer para mapusuan ko kung tamang iyong sagot. So again, thank you for this video. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope to see you with our next videos. Bye and thank you everyone. And see you with our incoming videos. Mwah! I love you everyone.